Hi there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez, an in office apps and services MVP. First of all, I hope all of you are okay. And now let's go to the point. In this video, I'm going to introduce you a new feature we have in SharePoint Online model pages, that is SharePoint collapsible sections. In a nutshell, this new feature allows you just to define how you want uh, the user experience when navigating through a modern SharePoint Online page that is maybe uh, quite dense in terms of the amount of information available. So you want to provide a kind of accordion experience when using the page. So let's see how this works. Here I am in a SharePoint Online site that actually was created by using the leadership connection um, template that you can get from the SharePoint lookbook. Um, what I'm going to do is just to edit the home page of this site. So I can see, uh, you, I can show you how you can use this new feature that allows you to easily define how you want to collapse a uh, spanned sections in your page. So let's click on edit. And now what you have to do is just to go section by section in the page to define how it's going to behave in terms of the collapsible behavior. So if I click on edit the section here, here you have the make this section collapsible. Collapsible. So you can click on on. So you make the switcher from on to off. Sorry, from off to on. And then what you have to do is just to define the display name for the section and the default display expanded or not. So in this case, latest news from the executive team. And I'm going to make collapse. I'm going to do the same for other sections I have in the page. So again, clicking over here, edit section. Um, I'm going to name this section communication and or press Q&A. And again, the full display is collapsed. So let's click on close this panel. Um, uh, going down, I'm going to do the same with the conversations section. So again, I'm going to edit the section, move the switch from off to off. I'm going to name conversation, conversations, default display, again, collapse. And last but not least, I'm going to do the same with the last section in the page. So I'm going to click on edit, edit section, make this section collapsible um, in summary, for instance. And again, the full display is collapsed. So I'm down. So in order to uh, make the changes available for all the users that can actually browse this page, I had to republish the page. Here we are. And if everything goes well, look how it looks like uh, now the, new, the page, as you can see. From having a very long page, I'm having now a short page, let's say that, with all the sections and this kind of accordion experience that allows, as a user, to easily expand or uh, and collapse sections in the page. So I can expand here. So this is very nice. I can do, a, I can scroll down and continue expanding the different sections I have in my page. Doing so for all the other sections. Uh, yeah, this is the result. So very, very nice feature. I will expect, uh, let's say, um, a kind of more awesome look and feel, but my guess is that this is uh, the version one of this feature that, by the way, is great. Uh, please uh, don't, uh, don't hatch, uh, don't, uh, sorry, I want to say that this is a great feature, but uh, I will expect something something extra over here. And uh, you asked me about if it makes sense to use this in a home page of a SharePoint online uh, model site. I would say no. Obviously, uh, this feature is more intended for uh, pages that are heavy in content that you can have in your sites. So the idea is to use there where you have a lot of a lot of test, maybe a lot of images and so on. So it actually makes sense uh, to uh, take advantage of this uh, collapsible, expandable uh, feature you have for the sections in your pages. And that's all uh, I have for you today. 
I hope you have found this video useful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you, find, if you have found this video and others I have there uh, useful. And uh, stay tuned for more videos coming around SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, and in general about Microsoft 365. So stay safe and take care. Bye bye.